Hello, welcome to Read With Joy, where you get to read with joy, because that's me, that's my name, and we all get to read with joy, because we love reading stories with silly faces and silly voices too. And um, we're going to be reading a story here called Troll Stinks. Troll Stinks. It is by Jean Willis and Tony Ross, and it's a cautionary tale. Be careful what you message on phones and in gaming and stuff like that, because you don't know who's at the other end. Shall we get started then? Come on then. There was a little billy goat who found a mobile phone, just like the one the farmer lost, hmm, and kept it for his own. He hid it from his mum and dad. <gasps> he knew what they would say. You're not old enough for that. And they'd take the phone away. Yeah, jolly well should. <gasps> Off he trotted down the lane to show his best friend Cyril. They played a funny game and took a photo of a squirrel. They found a tatty scarecrow and they wore his coat and scarf. Then Cyril took a selfie and that made the two goats laugh. <laughs> they listened to some music and then filmed a crazy cow. Hilarious, said Cyril. Billy, what should we do now? Little Billy thought and said, let's make a funny call. He scrolled through farmer's contacts while they hid behind a wall. Hmm. Billy called his brother and he burped a little tune. <coughs> then Cyril rang his sister, whooping like a big baboon. I don't know how to whoop like a baboon. Do you? <laughs> they scrolled through all the names. Then Billy's eyes lit up with glee. I've got Troll's number here, he said. Oh, what a laugh. Yippee. <laughs> Grandpa Gruff says trolls are bad. If one should ever meet us, when we cross the old stone bridge, he told me it would eat us. Let's send him a message, Billy said. We'll sort out, out troll from here for thinking that it owns that bridge and filling goats with fear. What should we say? asked Cyril. Little Bill began to text. Get off the bridge, you stink, he typed. Cyril, your turn next. Cyril took the mobile and he texted, Troll is dumb. Your dad has got a warty nose. A moose looks like your mum. <laughs> the goats grew even bolder, as Bill said with a laugh. I bet Troll's got an ugly mug. Let's take his photograph. We'll post it on the internet. The foulest face you see. That'll make the troll think twice before it bullies me. They trotted past the meadow and across the spooky wood and found the reeking riverbank where the stone bridge stood. I've set the phone to camera, said Billy with a grin. When troll pokes out his ugly head, we'll both burst in. Then you must take its picture. You must do it in a flash. And then, gasped Cyril. Billy giggled. <laughs> Off we dash. They waited for the moment. Then they entered bold and brave. <gasps> but to their horror, a big bad troll was not inside the cave. Just a tiny frightened troll who looked as sweet as pie with tears rolling down her face. What had made her cry? Someone sent me horrid texts, she wept upon her bed. What wicked monsters would do that? Um, us, the bad goat said. Hey, I tell you what, they were really good to like say that straight away. Why do you hate me so, she sobbed. <laughs> I've never once hurt you. Not every troll eats goats, you know. We trolls have feelings too. Oh, I'm truly sorry, Cyril said. Then Bill said, so am I. We're really silly billy goats. Forgive us. Please don't cry. The goat kids hung their heads in shame. They put the phone away and played a game called Making Friends, which everyone should play. Yeah! Playing with
with friends in real life, not online, always a good thing. We got to be really nice and really careful when we use our phones and devices, haven't we? But I'm sure you are. Thanks for reading that with me. Should we go back to the beginning and read it again? Or maybe I'll see you in the next story. See you soon.